Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being here, um, both media members and a great fan uh, turnout here this afternoon as well. Um, as K-State formerly introduces Jeff Mitty as um, our ninth head women's basketball coach. Uh, before we get started here, just a couple uh, reminders for the media and, and for the fans as well. Um, when Coach Mitty uh, is up for questions, we, we've got a couple staff members with microphones. Please state your name and affiliation uh, before each question. Uh, Coach Mitty, uh, looking forward to getting to know mo most of you guys already and uh, the rest of you um, as he starts um, his tenure here. Uh, following the press conference here this afternoon, both John Curry and Coach Mitty will be available for one-on-ones. And, um, and then also fans, uh, as soon as those one-on-ones are done, Coach Mitty will be over here on the, on the north side of the room um, as you can formally walk through and, and, um, and meet the coach. So with that, uh, we'll get things started here this afternoon. I'd like to bring up Athletics Director John Curry. Well, thank you very much, Kenny. Where, where are our student athletes? We, we, got, we got some right back here. Uh, let's, I heard a big burst of applause a moment ago, and I think that was probably for our student athletes, but let's give our student athletes again uh, a warm round of applause. And Not, none of them are missing class for this event. I just want to make sure that's, uh, that's very clear. Well, good afternoon and welcome to K-State. Uh, as we began our quest to find the next coach of the K-State Wildcats, we did so as we do with all K-State searches under the framework of the K-State Pledge and our vision of a model intercollegiate athletics program with our five goals of a world-class student-athlete experience, value to our university community and state, integrity and transparency in, in, in relation to ethics, finance, and NCAA compliance, championship athletic performances, and the best fan experience in the Big 12 Conference. We were very pleased with the interest in our position and the national respect evidence for K-State women's basketball. As we have talked about before, we have a tremendous championship tradition, currently ranking 15th all-time in NCAA Division I division wins with, five, with 858, which is also second among Big 12 schools. We have a strong recruiting and operating budget, and our facilities are among the nation's very best with our beautiful basketball training facility, which is not just an equitable facility, but is truly an equal facility for both women and men student athletes. We have traditionally strong fan support, ranking in the top 35 in attendance each of the last six seasons, and I again want to thank uh, the fans who are here uh, today. Uh, while I'm thanking folks, I want to thank Jill Shields and B. Stoney and Clint Dowdle, uh, who comprised our search committee. Uh, they all have tremendous experience in basketball, uh, specifically in women's basketball for Dr. Stoney and Jill, uh, and they were invaluable in this process. I want to recognize all of our staff who participated uh, in their assistance and support, including our operations and facilities staff, uh, for putting this event together uh, today. Uh, Daniel Parker and Laurie Wilder from Parker Executive Search uh, did a great job for us in helping accelerate the pace of our process. Um, and then as, a, as an institution, we know we're accelerating towards the K-State 2025 vision of ranking among America's top 50 public research universities. And I want to again say what a privilege and a pleasure it is to work under the leadership of our president, Kirk Schultz. Uh, in, a, in a few moments, I'll ask Dr. Noel Schultz, uh, Associate Dean of Engineering, uh, to uh, come forward and uh, with a purple coat uh, for Coach Mitty. But we are thrilled uh, to recognize Coach Mitty and his family, Shanna, Logan, Jordan, and Madison, to the K-State family. We believe Coach Mitty epitomizes our commitment to those five K-State goals and that vision. He is a proven winner in his 22 seasons as a head coach, featuring nine conference championships in four different leagues, 454 career wins, 15 total postseason appearances, with a 16th to come next year. He is a five-time Coach of the Year, <laughs> Uh, in those conferences, uh, and he has great Midwest roots uh, as a Blue Springs native, uh, and of course uh, his wife Shanna is a, ju a Junction City native and a Chapman High School graduate. He comes highly recommended by coaches and administer administrators throughout college basketball as a person of great integrity with a strong demonstrated commitment to the academic success of his student athletes. And now I'd like to ask Dr. Schultz to come up and Coach Mitty to present your new purple coat to our head basketball coach, Jeff Mitty.
Well, the uh, coat seems like as good a fit as uh, us coming to Kansas State, I think. So there you go. Um, thank you. I appreciate uh, Athletic Director Curry. Um, I appreciate uh, President Schultz. Re they, uh, Noel reached out to my wife, and uh, Kirk reached out to my wife, and the entire search committee was fantastic in the process of, of coming here. Um, you know, shoot, it feels like I've been here uh, already since I've been here a week now and, and gotten to work. And uh, it, it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting to be here. It's one of the things that uh, drew Shannon and I to have interest in this uh, position was uh, getting back to this area of the country uh, at a fine institution like Kansas State University. Uh, we just feel like there's so many great things that we can do here. This fits uh, our family very, very well. Um, we felt, I felt like watching from afar and scouting the young ladies that play here, I felt like this was a, a basketball team that I would really enjoy coaching and really enjoy teaching, and, and that's what I am. I, I love to teach. I love to get on the floor. We got the group on the floor yesterday. Uh, that was the uh, most fun of the process. Uh, it was great to get them out there, great to start working on basketball, and, and great to see them come back from spring break excited about uh, this next challenge that we have. It's going to be a challenge. Um, you know, our goal is to get, uh, uh, I appreciate the uh, postseason shout out for next year. I appreciate that. That is ob absolutely the goal, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's why I'm here. Um, I want to walk out there with. Um, I want to walk out there where 8,000 people, 10,000 people care about Kansas State women's basketball. That's important to me, and it has happened here uh, before, and we're going to get people excited about this basketball team next year, um, and I have, a, I have a good idea of what I want to do with this team already. I think because of coming from the league, I already have a good idea of where I see uh, this team going in the direction that we're going to go forward. So I'm excited about it. My wife and kids were up here last week. They were amazed at the uh, Manhattan hospitality. Um, if I had a nickel for every time somebody said, welcome to Manhattan, coach, um, I'd have a lot of nickels. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it was, uh, we went out to uh, grab a bite to eat before we flew back and uh, it was, the, the hospitality is amazing here. You know, they talk about family and uh, it really is, uh, you can feel how genuine it is, and uh, our, our family sensed that from the start through the process, but we certainly sensed it walking around Manhattan, and uh, many people uh, hollered at us and welcomed us, and, and we're excited to be here. We get them all answered? What we got? That's like, I like it. I coach, <laughs> I like it. Tim Fitzgerald from uh, Paracad Illustrated and GoParacad.com. What was it about this job that attracted you to move within a league which is a little bit uh, out of the normal? Well, a variety of things, Tim. It, um, I thought it was, a, a, from the standpoint of historically, the tradition of this basketball program and uh, Athletic Director Curry talked about it. You're talking about the 15th winningest program in women's basketball. It's a place with tremendous... Uh, passion for women's basketball and those are unique across the country there aren't as many of those so that was a unique situation um, as I researched it I was very impressed with vision 2025 that is something that uh, I think is extremely important as I go out and recruit the young ladies that we want to play basketball for Kansas State the the fact that watching the team from the outside I felt like it was a close basketball team. I felt like it was a team that, that fit my personality. Now that's from the outside looking in. So you, 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 you try to look at those things and, and I liked the, the young players in the program and I liked the, the veterans in the program. So I feel like we can do great things quickly. I didn't come here to, to, to rebuild and have it be a long process. So all those things tied in. And we talk about the family things of coming back home. Um, that, that was a factor as well, of, but, but also the fact that I want to get to the Final Four, I want to win championships, and I think the commitment here is, is uh, to do those things. And, and it, it takes everybody to do those things. So it takes the fans. We're, we're going to we're gonna have to continue, and, and we're going to have to have 8,000 people in there because when I go talk to recruits, they want to play in front of those type of environments, and those are unique, and it's going to take all of us to get that done.
Coach Minnie, um, how important is the family aspect of coming here to K-State? I know your wife is from Junction City and you're so close in Blue Springs. How important was that family decision in coming here? Well, it, it was an important factor in that um, it's unique that you can, you feel like there's a place close enough to do those things and accomplish all your career goals and at a place that you feel strongly about and kind of tugs at you when you drive through and um, you know, those type of things. You know, I know my wife's really excited about being back in the area. Uh, my father and brother are here today at the press conference, and so I've seen them more in the last two weeks than I saw them in the last uh, three, four months. And, you know, those things are real exciting. And, and uh, so, yeah, it, it was certainly a factor. Coach Scott Fritch and uh, GoParacat.com. Um, the, the, you replaced the Deb Patterson with a 10 and 26, and you arrived with a 10 and 26 from uh, TCU. Um, can you talk about the inherent challenges that you see within this program and the challenges uh, that you came across at, at TCU during that stretch? Well, I think very, you know, we came about those very differently. At TCU, we were coming from the Mountain West into the Big 12, and um, I had very, the similarities, or I had my youngest team a year ago and you saw the growth in that basketball team. Kansas State women's basketball was the youngest team in the Big 12 last year, and I see, I see the growth of this basketball team occurring very quickly. And so there were some similarities there. Um, it's a tough basketball league. It's a great basketball league. It's, uh, um, this is a great part of the country that appreciates good basketball, both men's and women's. So those things are very exciting. And, and I, I think that when you, uh, I've already been out on the road recruiting, you know, that's uh, a big part of this right now. We're in a contact period. So uh, there's a lot of excitement across the state of Kansas. And uh, I expect it to, I expect that to uh, really help us in recruiting. There's some great talent across the state. And I think they're excited about uh, what we can do here at Kansas State. Hey, Coach. Uh, Kel Shrebenet here from the Wichita Eagle, Kansas City Star. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, how do you think your Texas connections, based on your previous job, particularly in recruiting, could help you here at Kansas State? Well, I think Texas is always a big part of the recruiting process. You know, you have um, uh, a lot of players that come out of the Texas area. There are a ton of schools that recruit it. It's in, the, obviously, the Big 12 footprint. So there's no doubt that I'm going to utilize all those recruiting contacts we have. So it's going to be a big part of our recruiting here. It's going to be Kansas. The state of Kansas, Kansas City, and Texas are going to be some big areas for us. Corbin McGuire, uh, Topeka Capital Journal. Coach, can you just describe your process and how you're going to go about putting together your, your coaching staff and where you're at in that process? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, and that's one of the important processes of this. Um, you know, we um, there'll be some of the staff remain here, um, retaining some of those staff, and then um, – Part of my staff could come here, although those, uh, those decisions have not been made yet. I expect that to clear up here in the next week to 10 days. Uh, my associate head coach at uh, TCU is, is a potential candidate for the TCU job there. So that is slowing a little bit of this process here with us. Um, so that, I think that process will clear up here in the next 7 to 10 days. Hey, Coach, tired of me seeing me yet? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Never get tired of seeing you. <laughs> we were talking yesterday on, on the radio station about, you know, the junior college route and what – can you be specific in what you might be looking for in terms of pieces right away? Yep, sure. Okay. Sure. Well, I, I, I'd like to get a, a little better size. I think we need some more depth along the size area. That's a, that's a concern. I think that's a concern – uh, with every coach in terms of the Big 12. It's such a physical league, and you must have depth across the front line. I think we've got to get depth. I, I would say a little better depth in every area, though, because the one thing that can impact a season is foul trouble, uh, injuries. That We've got some young ladies that are bouncing back from injuries. So I'd like to just improve our depth here in the spring. And um, we may sign a player or two to do that. I'll tell you what, though, I sure like the way the group worked yesterday in our workouts. You know, we did the radio show yesterday, and you could probably tell I was ready to get on the floor. <laughs> you guys wanted me to stay. I, I, 
I was ready to go get on that basketball floor, get that team out there. And um, we had a good hour workout yesterday, two 30-minute segments, and uh, I was very pleased with that group. But we do need more depth. Uh, we've got some injuries right now that we got to get healthy here, so that's, that's going to be a part of the process. Coach, Matt Walters from K-Man right here. Are you tired of seeing me yet? No, <laughs> Okay, no. all right. <laughs> when you talk about recruiting Kansas, Kansas City, and Texas, is, is the footprint, footprint for you recruiting, is it bigger here in the Midwest? I mean, is Nebraska, Colorado, just yeah. this region? Or will you be a national recruiter as well and coast to coast? Well, we're going to be national. I don't see any reason why any player across the country or across the world wouldn't want to come to Kansas State. I don't see any reason. There's no excuse. When you walk in that basketball training facility, uh, and I've been in a bunch of them, I had not been in that facility prior to uh, accepting the job here, so I was excited to go in that facility. But um, we're going to recruit across the country. But I think you've got to start inside out, you know, and I think you've got to start with the state of Kansas, and I think you've got to go outwards. And certainly the area of Chicago, got good contacts in Chicago, got good contacts in Milwaukee. Um, those areas are going to be strong as well. Um, but we'll, we'll recruit anywhere and everywhere uh, because I think you can find players. And, and yes, question about junior college players, but I think you can build rosters a lot of different ways. So we're going to be uh, looking at every avenue to build this roster. Uh, Coach Brett Regan with GoParacat.com. Uh, who specifically are you retaining from uh, the previous staff? Yeah, uh, Claire Coggins will be retained and, and Tasha Dickey will be retained. Um, so those two will be retained. I reached out to Shaylee Lenning and uh, I talked to Shaylee about that. That was one of my first phone calls. I recruited Shaylee and um, I know how important she is to Kansas State women's basketball. Um, Shaylee feels like she's going to go on and maybe do some other things. We had a good conversation, but uh, I told her, hey, come back anytime. I, I, I love the way you played the game, and I uh, got to know her a little bit on the, on the sidelines coaching at events and those things. But uh, the two that will be retained will be Claire and uh, Tasha Dickey, and then I'll build the staff here. Hopefully, like I said, in the next seven to ten days, you know, the priorities right now are – uh, the young ladies in the back of the room are number one priority. Number two priority is recruiting some players to, to potentially add to that group. And then uh, number three priority is putting together a staff for, for those young ladies. Yeah. Uh, Long-time K-State fan, uh, fan uh, of all sports, but uh, on the recruiting line, are there any commitments that the previous staff had that you've talked to that are going to be – I know there's a gal from Salina that's pretty good. And, yeah. And there's a gal over in Walmigo. I don't – she's a junior, but uh, – I, 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 I... I'm not allowed compliance-wise to talk about that, but I have been in Wamigo <laughs> before. Thank you. <laughs> and, and yes, the young lady from Salina will be coming. She signed with us. Um, she came to the initial meet and greet, and um, I have sat down with her family as well. So it seems like I, I had actually seen her play in the state tournament. So um, I, I do have some familiarity with uh, some of the current recruits as well. So, yes. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one, Coach. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs>